Hello everyone, welcome again to the channel. Today I want to share with you a personal story. Uh, today, or actually yesterday, is uh, one month since my girlfriend decided to end our relationship. We were together already for two years, so the story is that this is the first time in my life that when a woman decides to end a relationship with me and it is really for me it has been very very different uh, let's say when i end the relationship even if of course we had a good relationship with a woman i somehow um, feel less uh, less sad than this time so this time has been different so i can now understand uh, those uh, those men whose uh, women decided to end the relationship with them especially because it seems in my experience that uh, women have um, let's say a more impulsive behavior and uh, from the point of view of men it is uh, usually um, let's say a little bit illogical from our from our point of view why women decide to end the relationship uh, for example talking about myself uh, when I broke up with her which was of course a few times um, it usually had to do something with her behavior and I communicated to her what was uh, the situation and usually if she was uh, uh, let's say unable or unwilling to compromise about something that I consider unacceptable then I decided to end the relationship and every time she was coming back trying to talk about it trying to reconciliate and I think it was uh, she had like a good attitude she was not a negative person she is not a negative person she's a very good woman but in general i have to say that uh, i did it whenever i broke up with her it was for a logical reason something that you could explain and, and everyone and anyone will understand but uh, it was not like that when she decided to break up and somehow it was uh, sudden and unexpected uh, especially because every time we broke up in the past uh, it was only short time. Um, I think the longest time we didn't communicate with each other was probably 10 days and that was only one time. Um, so this time is the only time that she actually broke up with me and it's already one month. And from my point of view, I think it will, she will never come back it's my currently is uh, what I think it will happen but I think I am a little bit biased um, I'm the kind of person who I'm very emotional so I usually like to give my love openly and I gave her everything emotionally that I wanted to give so I was feeling from this point of view very happy but at the same time I feel like I I'm the kind of person who understands that it's better to let go of people uh, for whatever reason when when I think it's not longer going to work but in this case especially it is a unique experience for me it has been um, very painful it has been very painful especially because um, from the male mentality I, I don't see a, um, a reason, yeah, there is no explanation, there is no logical explanation about uh, why she decided to break up with me, it was not, not something about my behavior, there was no option, there was no discussion, there was no argument, there was not even a fight, she just said, oh, I, I think we need to break up, and that, that was all. So this uh, created all kinds of uh, psychological noise inside my head because I knew I didn't do anything wrong, if that makes any sense. I knew I didn't cheat on her or anything like that. 
but uh, let's say the breakup itself was kind of clean I just asked her what was the reason for the breakup, what was uh, her justification or something and she explained it to me but um, I didn't consider it like a good reason but also when she started to try to go around it and try to uh, explain it by saying oh just because I want to kind of thing I decided to leave it there and don't argue I didn't argue too much so I told her okay so then it's goodbye but um, it doesn't matter if I didn't argue with her um, I haven't been in communication with her uh, but uh, let's say my personality is such that I, I don't beg women to come back Number one, because I don't feel the inclination to do it. I know some people do it. So I don't judge anyone. I'm just talking about, let's say, my style, uh, relationship-wise. I never beg anyone to stay. I, I don't even feel the inclination to call her or say something. Let's talk about it. It doesn't, it doesn't cross my mind, let's say. However, it... The difference is that it has been very, very painful, uh, like considerably much more painful than every other time we, we broke up with her. May, so I attribute this to the fact that it was out of my control this time. It wasn't something that I decided. It was somehow imposed of me, so it was completely... Um, let's say out of my control and besides I, this the, I, from the point of view of a guy if something doesn't make sense stays in your mind and you think about it over and over so I have had one month to think about this and I tried all kinds of explanations all kinds of uh, uh, possible uh, scenarios I even think that one day she will come back and talk about it but um, overall, I try to have the attitude of uh, try to not think too much about it. However, I I miss her. I miss her terribly. I I decided to not uh, blame her. I decided to not uh, victimize myself. But I also decided to not uh, try to make her like a bad person or a bad woman just because she decided to break up with me but it doesn't make this doesn't make the pain uh, be any less uh, the feeling is um, very big and I can understand men who want to come back with their ex I guess it's a similar situation to what I'm experiencing now they feel this uh, pain of someone leaving you, you somehow, or I feel somehow. Um, I try to say to not say that it's my fault or not my fault, but um, um, somehow I feel this, uh, that uh, there was something I did and I didn't notice. Also, some guys, uh, let's say relationship experts, psychologists, all kinds of... Uh, personalities on online media they say that there are always signs and that they should pay attention to these signs uh, I watch uh, some of these uh, let's say videos or podcasts that talk about these kind of situations and I have to be completely honest uh, there wasn't a reason there wasn't something inherently wrong about the relationship there weren't any specific signs that I could say, that I could tell, even, um, let's say, in hindsight, looking back, because it's usually harder to see them when you are inside the relationship, but when the breakup comes, you can probably go back and say, oh, yeah, this uh, should have been a sign. Well, I have had enough time to go over um, all the events that took place, uh, let's say, before the breakup, and I couldn't find any any specific signs that will kind of hint to this and uh, 
especially uh, what I want to say that uh, about my personal situation is that this has been extremely hard, probably more hard than for an, uh, another person because I live alone and uh, I don't live in my country. I don't have any any friends with whom I can talk to. Uh, it's uh, just, uh, let's say, logistically, it's not possible. I The friends that I have, they live in a completely different time zone. And the friends that ac are actually, let's say, within reason, not so far, let's say, two hours difference that we can talk to, because uh, they didn't approve of uh, our relationship. They, they just didn't like our relationship for different reasons. Uh, they didn't approve. So I don't have the support system of someone that I can talk to. I try to tell this to someone I know. Uh, I cannot say this uh, woman is a good friend or someone is just someone who I thought uh, will be, uh, let's say, sympathetic to my cause. But uh, then I, I talked to her about it and she kind of blamed me for it. She said that it was my fault or something like that uh, that I should have not become involved in this kind of relationship. So this is um, what I want to say is that makes it even harder because you have your emotional pain, you have your psychological pain, you have your ups and downs, uh, everything that I do or everything that I see in my house, even my own clothes remind me of her. And uh, sometimes I have had uh, very negative feelings. Um, I try to avoid indulging in behavior that is a little bit destructive, like overeating. Of course, I don't drink alcohol. It's uh, my personal choice. But I, even when sometimes I feel, let's say, the temptation to uh, let's drink a couple of beers or something, I don't see the point because in the past, uh, when I have had, uh, let's say, alcohol in my system, I noticed that um, you have um, a higher tendency to have negative feelings, negative emotions, negative thoughts. So I don't need this in my life. I think I already have enough uh, with my own thoughts without adding substances that will create even more hardship for myself. And um, in my particular circumstances, have been uh, very hard to not have someone to talk to, uh, having someone who can actually listen without judging. So I closed out to everyone. I didn't talk to anyone about it because I know that nobody will will support me. I am before I I already probably a few months into the relationship after I noticed that they were not supporting my relationship with her. I stopped talking to everyone about it. So I know that they will judge me or they will judge her. They will say, I told you so. And for those of you who don't know, hearing from someone that you care about, hearing from someone that you think you respect, that they are your friend, hearing that they say, Oh, I told you, you should have known, I was, uh, I knew this was going to happen. It, it never help. It never helps. It's uh, the worst thing you can say to someone who is in pain, telling him or her, I told you so, and you see what happened now, You're, you are heartbroken or something. It doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. And um, what is the solution for this uh, from my own experience? Um, I have some psychological training uh, called Gnosis. Uh, so we have this uh, Gnostic psychology that I studied for quite a long time. I was a teacher for also for a long time, probably more than 10 years. And after, after my divorce, I stopped, uh, I stopped teaching, but um, Let's say one of the good things that came after my breakup with my girlfriend is that I decided to start teaching again because I thought uh, it would be helpful for someone, for more than just one person. 
So this has been helpful for me. Um, this is called this process is called uh, ego elimination, and basically it will help you to eliminate the pain that you have, emotional pain, uh, psychological pain, that sometimes can even translate into physical pain, like disease or something. For example, when I got divorced, uh, I even got sick. I had a virus uh, that was in my system, and it was somehow involuntary, of course. It was... Um, subconscious, my subconscious creating these circumstances, the a lot of stress, a lot of uh, emotional pain. So after the breakout with my girlfriend, um, I decided to work on this and get out of this alone because number one, no one else was going to help me, no one wanted to listen to, and of course I didn't want to have the on top of that, I didn't want to have the negative experience of telling someone about my painful experience and they telling me, oh, I told you so. So that's why I decided to work on this and it has helped tremendously. I have uh, continued to work because of course this is a process, it's not something that you just uh, flip a switch and will stop happening. But it's very, it's very powerful and it's very effective. And I already published an episode um, about this uh, before in one of the uh, episodes that I talk about the Gnosis course. But uh, in the future, I will make uh, more episodes talking about this because I think it is important. A lot of people experience uh, negative, negative. Uh, situations in their lives so I will make a few episodes to talk about this to help people and I hope there will be enough interest um, and that's all I wanted to say for now I want to remind you about the opportunity to, to help me support my work as content creator in every episode I include information about different platforms you can use to support me with donations if you want to and you can also support my work uh, by liking, sharing this episode in social media, and subscribing. I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you for watching.